I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chalamet City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Here, Al. Come here, bot. Here, Is Matt still working on the robot's navigation system? Yeah, I noticed. We'll come up with something. Wow, what a beautiful day. What's up with your Vovas box, Andre? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold picky, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa! You did it! Oh, thanks a million! Enjoy the celebration! Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. <gasps> Comrades! Icarus platform residents and facility guests. The Anchor Thought Device today. Get connected straight away. Uh, all right, we sunk it. Let's play something else. Info Kiosk 55 is an official Are they getting rid of the rain clouds tomorrow, Santa? The Anchor Thought Device today. Get connected straight away. Oh, what a rendition. Have you been to the laboratory? Assemble near the Brown Plate Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of Facility 3826. Hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war. Everyone here seems so happy and content. 
just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit, and I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Slow down, son. Slow down. I still can't believe the stars can be so... Comrades, the day will come to see all the planets of the solar system all have artificial atmospheres. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course! Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone. <laughs> for your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. Welcome to your future. The greatest events in the history of a man. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory.
that have profoundly changed the world as we know it. Report to the lobby of that high-rise, Comrade Major. They're waiting no, for I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of genetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all-encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. At last, a network of humans and robots. I'm so glad to see you're humans taking it be easy, able to control Comrade machines Major. With their thoughts the car alone. is waiting. And you must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. Forget the difficult, been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, labor, to leave. And dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future. The neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible via a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, you'll become the future. Comrade, as a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to control robots with your own mind and explore space. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We could take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. 
I'm getting in the car right now. Seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, I just came from in every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of Politics, robotic workers from that. the city. We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? That's more like it. I see you've finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like... Flying pigs. Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. 
This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant, performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Trove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Now what am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory of the Rabbi Hall facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! What the shit? Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Attention. This is an emergency communication. <laughs>
not panic. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. His mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session of out. I've swum through Polymer plenty of times and I haven't drowned yet. It's a frickin' miracle of modern science. Holy shit! Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Somebody help me! I'm gonna die in here! Hey, you! I'm coming. Shit! Uh, get away from me! at almost choked to death there give me a hand oh, I didn't see that coming mm. oh. you should be more careful this place is a damn madhouse yeah I noticed uh -huh. thanks for the help no sweat Sonny what are you doing here anyway oh just passing through who are you me Xena granny Xena that's all you need to know fine I get it so what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Uh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! No good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold them off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where'd 
did you get that thing? No Give it to me. way! You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Goddamn clusterfuck. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in... Hey, who's there? They found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady, this is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! Hey, you no, listen to me! give you some advice. Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. 
It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalokov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, but we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade... Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not. Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Just Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. It's missed. I just need to finish my work, and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Coltsoff some tea. I'll be with you in a second, okay? Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at Facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here.
absolute worst. I speak not only of our... So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. Something's wrong. Oh shit! Get up, soldier. <sighs> Great. Just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great. Now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! No! Avoid the beam! Chef Larissa crawled into go. It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock-picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. 
I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the lock and pin light goes on. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword? Thrust it deep into my socket so I can make it sturdier and sharper. Nora can upgrade weapons and equipment, as well as manufacture new items from blueprints. To do this, provide the repair vendor with the resources you will undoubtedly find as you rummage through the entire area. You can fill me with whatever you want, big guy. Insert your axe. I'll give you the time of your life. You're sick, you know that? Deeper? Again? Oh, yes, honey, more! More! Yes! But I can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out, then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. Fading data.
Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I can follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. <laughs> But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite...
accidentally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. If you recall, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. What will it be, Major? Weapons or ability?
Success granted. What will it be, Major? What? Swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> you don't say.
There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ah, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. The station monster. What a joke. Uh, what was that? Schematic. Need to find the schematic. They won't go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me. He's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen it just like everything here? They won't go. Nope. Won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. The schematic, the one I need to move the cars, where is it? The station monster has it. We can make it. It's as fast as me. We die. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. He died. Everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. Over the shore one day, and the next, enjoy a beautiful mountain. Gotta find the station master. I just wish I knew where he is. Will be Moscow too. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. But talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. Everyone okay, there it is. You hear me? It should be somewhere around here. Without me, silly. I need to find that piece of paper. This works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Sorry, no ticket. find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that.
shit. That was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. can drill through even the hardest buildings at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. Man, do I ever love crawling through dark-ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Hey, this is my stop. What a nice trip. Laser wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. I need to go through a laser wall, preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. Ugh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no time to waste. Don't listen to him, big guy. He wants to drive us apart. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any wall. Ah! Crap! 
That hurt! Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations, and that's the last question you get. You're going to kill me. save yourself! Chelemy. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Red right alert. Lockdown in progress. around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's gotta be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to- Behind the wall! Can you hear them? Scurrying around! I'm scared! I'm really scared of them! Sorry, but I, I really don't want to hear this right now. have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily, but the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm.
Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nutcases, metallic or otherwise. Sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Select the desired procedure. Authorization Major Nichayev, code name P3, access. So, what will it be, Major? Looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us.
Well, what do we have here? Once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them, you egghead sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Guess I'll go find some canisters. Shit, lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, comrade major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. There it is. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. I was a bad girl. So another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. I was so lonely. I had to blow off some steam. Enough. Will this ever end? Don't Do you like it, sugar? I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself, hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithm... It's 
Weird song, but I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine after all. What you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. I've got one. I've got another one. Uh, done. I think it worked. You are now observing the Luna Memorial, a symbol of the Soviet lunar program. The USSR's... Whew, this place is huge. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Charles, no time for this! Warning! Microclimate abnormality detected inside the deep bank vault. Sample container integrity compromised.
select the desired procedure.
I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. Metric readings. This is patrol. It is? Crispy critters. Shit. It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, P3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Uh, the door's locked. We won't be able to open it without power.
for power generator microclimate readings are suboptimal. Electricity generation not possible. The energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction. Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up.
sons of bitches. Just wait for a medic, okay? What? Medic? The entire facility has gone tits up. And who knows when the rescue team are gonna be here. But I'm hurting right now. I'll never walk again anyway. Remember, family members of those convicted of unauthorized distribution of information will be prosecuted. Maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec, okay? There were three of us. They tried to lift it, but it failed. A robot could have lifted this, but we can't ask them now. Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick. It hurts. A lot. <laughs> Thank you. For fuck's sake. I... Hey, why am I... What happened? Was that another polymer memory, Charles? Is being hurt the only thing this guy can remember? I didn't expect it to manifest like that. What happened to me? What happened to me? Fuck! <sighs> You're already dead. Just... wait a little bit. What? Wait for what? What do you mean I'm dead? Hey! Finish me off! Kill me! You promised! Right. I'm out of here. Fuck me sideways. Lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. <laughs> harmless, my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. canister might be. A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. <sighs> Let's go find it. I gotta go. Talk to you later, I guess.
crap, there's no canister here. I'm sure we can find one here somewhere. We found the dispenser. Now we gotta find a goddamn canister. To work? Judging from its shape and diameter, indeed. Canister detected. Synthesizing luminopolymer. Canister will be filled in 35 days. 35? Great! I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process... Dinner's ready! So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors. We gotta be careful. It's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. That pool glow. It's actually kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. saw this particular turn of events. It was a rhetorical question, Chuck.
We just need to speed up the last motor. Well, at least I don't have to worry about ammo. Lights all around, Chela's buzzing in the distance. How romantic. Comrade Major? Yes? Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? Nah, that's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures, but the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable.
boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. Okay, I found the opening. Now, lug this shit to the boiler myself? Sure. the pipes openings in the next room and not over by the birch tree. Okay, second one's all set. up with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available.
you found Dr. Filat over yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective... What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. Canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Falatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague, Chariton Radionovich Zaharov, was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kinda cute. There we go. Look at her bloom. What a beauty. Photosynthesis has begun. The tree's condition is improving rapidly. Attention, distribution center employees. Access to the right wing of the complex is now Will be 
What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. with this place. Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff. Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-celled plant life to livestock and other animals. That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium. Clusterfuck. mistook you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording... It's spinning. That should do the trick. Yes, it's much 
better. Opera is doing wonders for me. Definitely. So, on with my life. Day 783. Where was I? Ah, yes. At first... Hope I didn't get anything mixed up. Did I just kill all of them? It's standard to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop. To undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. This is the proving ground for some of the most cutting-edge scientific experiments in the world. Here, living organisms are tested for their adaptability to long-term exposure to vacuum. Lab animals are It's huge. I've never seen so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the Moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. So how do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. We just need to wait. That sounds a little too easy. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this shit. What's the matter with it? What am I supposed to do? The canister will only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it.
Canister successfully filled with cryopolymer. Wow, you don't say. Finally. Data saved. Attention employees. Let's get the hell out of here. Design workshop is now available. I sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister. Everything you hear, Major. So, what do you think? Crispy critters! Quiet, damn it! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Are you off your nut? Is this some kind of joke? Shh, shh. You could you could wake it up at any time. In two hours' time, when the pesticide reaches critical low, it'll wake up. Do you understand? I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You'll have to find a PA-400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? <sighs> Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA-400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right, a container. Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Find that yellow...
Solar Cylinder, or we're screwed! Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find. Fading data. This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here. Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed. Charles, this sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us.
need to hurry. Crispy critters, I'm trying. with the pump. Did he quit or something? Choke on your pesticides, fuck bag. That's it. Smoke break. Did you find the container? I'm out of PA 400. If we don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in range! We gotta run before it... Hang on! God damn it. You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to us, Have we're you dead! About aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! No! Fuck. No! Help me! Get it off me! Hang on, buddy. I'm coming! Oh, shit! The fucking canister. Well, it's something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Uh-huh. Just like me and Petrov.
They didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? What a pain in the ass. Tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. Pesticide polymer canister connected. I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the, the birch tree has tree returned to normal. power generator is now fully operational. Power supply restored. Done. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure, I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like, a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Fading data. What are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more cellas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me.
There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub, known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm. Oh. Comrade Major, based on the enemy's alert level data, you are fucked. Which other facility robots are dangerous? All of them, I suppose. Other than the Tereshkovas, as they operate autonomously and are not connected to the network. So the central hub infiltrated by Petrov does not have access to the Tereshkovas. Uh, at least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks. For nothing. Holy shit, where did... Where did it keep coming from? A bumblebee... Damn it. The gate's been locked by the security system. We need to gain access. The only way to do this is by connecting to the security cameras. Unfortunately, I lack that ability. There's a special camera diagnostic system, CDS-2 Volan. I can use one to connect to the cameras. That system might come in handy for stuff other than diagnostics. Hopefully there's one around here somewhere. According to available data, a device with that designation can be found in this village. Detecting its signal, Use the scanner to triangulate its coordinates. Will this device allow us to hack into the security system? Hacking into the system would be tricky. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. Where's the fire, Sonny? Granny? Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Zena, huh? Good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. And now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that, Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your... Hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? They broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right, I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. side of the lake. See it over there? It's called an evil lighthouse. I figured he was lonely. I mean, I'm here at the station with a village full of nice people, plus Vavilov and all that. And they just brought him here from Sahalin, along with the lighthouse. How far away is that? 2,000 kilometers? I just imagine it. He used to live by the sea there, sending signals to ships. And now he's here. I mean... That's kind of sad, right? Anyway, I was wondering, could you talk to him a little every now and then? Well, have a good shift. Son of a bitch! Oh, about time. 
That fucking pot almost killed me. Sonny. Thanks for the assist, Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. Kettle's there. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. What the hell are you? <clears throat> Regarding Shush. the reports, your beloved Sachinov son, I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal! I am fully aware of- Are you? Our Atomic Heart Project my. is in jeopardy! My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your mechanical toys, Comrade Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else, and the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working class will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population, the launch of the collective neural network, Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? The Politburo has come to a decision. And I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do.
Charles, who is this Granny Xena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So, what about this atomic heart project Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Nah, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about it if I need to know. Let's go find a way to the station. We're finally in the system. We can see the whole place this way. Let's look for the right camera. We've got a camera. Are you getting any telemetry, Charles? I'm in the system. I don't see anything I can interact with, but I sense that the scanner in your glove can be activated while accessing the video camera. Let's try. Okay, let's open the gate. Oh, well. Show me what you got. Astrologers announced a week of Atomic Heart. The number of enemies has doubled.
internet. Ah, we found the station, and the train is right there. All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. Don't jinx it, Glove. Otherwise, we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door.
What am I supposed to do now? Search every single body here? I suggest talking to the polymerized victims. Shit. Fucker. There are bodies everywhere. They never saw the bots coming. No one expected civilian robots to display this kind of aggression. No shit. I wouldn't have seen it coming either. Robots pulled our country back from the edge of a cliff after the Brown Plague. A decade later, people believe civilian robots are dependable and helpful. It's a terrible shame. I can't. I just can't. I can't leave this place, literally. You don't have a spare ticket, do you, comrade? A ticket? Yes, I do have a ticket, but it's useless. How come? Because this station is jinxed. Can't you see? <laughs> I'd use a different word, but I don't want to upset you. There's no other practical explanation. It's a jinx. I'm telling you. First, I overslept. Then I forgot my papers. Then I forgot the departure time. And then I almost missed the train. And when I got here one minute before departure, everything froze before my eyes. This station is jinxed. Why don't I help you get rid of your jinx ticket and your backward superstitions, comrade? Take it! Take it! And break the jinx! Thanks. Not sure about the jinx, though. Tickets! The window is closed! I need a train ticket. A ticket? What the hell are you talking about? There are crazy robots all over the place! Help! They're killing me! You already got killed, buddy. Shouting like that isn't gonna do shit. I've got to hide! Get away! You'll tick me off to the robots! You're hidden, okay? The bots will never find you. Now, can you tell me where I can get a train ticket? I'm not opening the ticket window. The robots will see me. Ask someone else for a ticket. They don't have names on them. <clears throat> Kai, rescue, failure. Excuse me, comrade, but do you have a train ticket? Must go, ramen key. Emergency. What? Failed everyone. People dying. 
Elimination was correct. Son. Asshole. Holy hell, I'm wasting my fucking time here. Robots. Not glad to be of service. Not glad. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go. Can I have your train ticket, comrade? It's an emergency. Are you alive? Then run! You can make it! Leave the area! I can't. I'm the guy who's gonna clean up this mess. This is exactly what we thought when we sounded the alarm. And now we're hiding out instead of fixing the robots. I'm guessing your ticket's expired then, huh? I have a monthly pass. Has it been a month yet? How long have I been lying here? Ah, it hasn't been a month. Mind if I borrow your pass, comrade? You don't need it anymore. And that fucking Rafik on the train is busting my balls. You saw a Rafik? Do not approach it under any circumstances. Rafiks kill you if you try talking to them. Have you got a pass or not? I have. Take it. It's, it's in my pocket. I can't reach it. I'll get it. Thanks, comrade. Do not approach Rafiks. They're dangerous. Charles? Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. 
What's so suspicious about it? You've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Nature, but what do you need to get to the bottom of it? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed. That is, unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Hang on! Are you fucking serious? Sonyechnaya Station. Next stop. Yeah, Stark? No time for a dirt nap, Stark. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Station Off say? Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's like, now. Okay, okay. Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head here. down. Okay. Uh, Comrade Station Off wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, fair enough. Uh, Anything okay. else? Uh, Comrade Sechenov asked me to give you this. Huh. This'll come uh, You're a soldier, Agent P3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Wait, where are you going? Uh, slippery little bitch! Oh, uh, 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 Pretty here. Just like Moscow. Better, actually. More futuristic. And on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design. Come on, not that hooker bot again. Watch out, there are robots beneath us. Really? I thought they were ladybugs. Failing data. Locked. What else is new? Charles, open it. Unfortunately, I... Lack of the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? I'll deal with it. Balan. Sweet. Okay, what do we have here?
Are you planning to disable the Hawk? It isn't responsible for opening the VDNH's doors, you know. Uh, w well, I gotta do something, okay? I'll start with the Hawk. It's the Hawk's service button. What does it do? It will cause the Hawk to land, so it can be serviced by a technician. How long will it stay there for? If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. Then we need to move. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the Hawk and get a better view of the place. Maybe I'll see something. What should I do? Hang on to this handle or something? Hold on tight. Hawks are not designed to be ridden. What are these cables for? They weren't here before. The cables stabilize the Hawk during bad weather. Huh. Maybe I can slide down a cable. Interesting fact. From a bird's eye view, you can see that the grass in the park was planted in the shape of the peaceful atom. A bird's eye view? Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable.
that thing? A civilian robot. You tell me, Major. You have far more experience with combat robots than I do. I, I do? I mean... Shit, I do, but... I can't remember a damn thing. They seem different somehow. Pretty impressive, isn't it? You can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. It will. You'll see. I won't let Dr. Sechenov down again. More locked doors. Who the hell keeps locking everything? Whoever he is. I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. These doors will be opened via a symbolic gesture during the ceremony. Symbolic how? The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system hanging above the entrance. I'll see what I can do. Right is all set. Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. No entry. And a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Well, whatever. Comrade Major, have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. Damn mustaches again.
Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrades Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Cause no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, Comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone including the government.
They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in Collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's gotta make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's gotta take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's gonna be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuro connector. You mean a thought device? Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Mal... Tov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. <sighs> Crispy critters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechenov, but I never expected- So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? This place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came.
infiltrated the VDNH yet, Comrade Major. The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? The time can be opened with my multi key error. Multi key not found. All Tereshkova models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi key. My forearms have been torn off by miscreants. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. Well, well, Charles, what do the special neuro connectors for Collective look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. The ones they will get look like thought devices, but in a golden diamond encrusted shell. The scientists from Dr. Sechenov's team have already received different devices. Different? You mean there's gonna be ones with different capabilities? According to Dr. Sechenov's plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is gonna try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuropolymer glove from, Comrade Major? What? You mean yourself? I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. <laughs> he did ask me to be careful with you. looking at this worthless hunk of junk? The backstabbing machine that killed me? Huh. Yeah. That must feel pretty shitty. It's not about how it feels. It's about how I feel. And I'm pissed off. I'm full of rage. And I don't like it. I'm an even-tempered man. A peaceful man. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff, I mean. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well. Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. Dead bodies all over the place. Tereshkova's arm. 
What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? Oh, fuck that. There's no way I'm leaving that thing alive. <laughs> How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi-key activated. Now what? Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the All-Soviet Exhibition Center! What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it! Uh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. 
What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichaya. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. So, about this Darwin test. Yes, I am always happy to help, Major. Here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs, cheerful hymn. Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return. Ah, oh, shut your face, you dumbass toaster. I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. I have a few questions. Naturally, Major. I can tell you about all four floors of the exhibition. Chelome, Pavlov, Vavilov, and Sahalin. Uh, I'd like to ask you about something else. I am always at your service. So... Yes, I am all here. Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. The hammer! 
tool of working men, the sickle peasant's friend, the many-pointed star they praise and with their lives defend. <sighs> Put something cheerful on, would ya? It kind of feels like the end of the world right now. Radio of the future! Astonishing music generated by the state-of-the-art quantum supercomputer based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims these are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's going to write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted! You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are! The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you yanking my fucking chain? But... I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How did you know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. This whole thing is just monstrous. The robots must have completely lost their minds. Would you look at this? Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal, like a beast, to crush and dismember. And this one, it just stands there buck naked as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Publicly exposing your iridium compactor. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? Oh my, that's a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. I'm so scatterbrained today. Oh, I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible, monstrous mustache off. But this one, you're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. 
Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to... Oh, well, let's change the subject. There's a wide range of the lab tech models. The ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the black lab tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated black lab techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. What? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Shocking! You have no sense of decency. I gather you've already met Nora, the monstrous repair vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah, move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. On my way, comrade! Oh, who's a good boy? Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy? You little goo. You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? Here we are, comrade. The administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. Only try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. Ah, does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. Wow, check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Attention, BDNH staff. Visiting hours will begin in 15 minutes. Please conclude all meetings.
cycle. Module, limb, leg, left. Not found. <sighs> Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. Fading data. This place used to be really nice. Until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. Hey, this is new. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? Hey, Charlie, why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. Charles, what do the special neuroconnectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuroconnectors have the Greek letter Gamma on them, and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter Beta on them, but the Beta connectors were real at first. Uh... I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuroconnectors with discretionary authority were called beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So? What happened to them? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuroconnectors. Enhanced gamma models, shaped like bracelets, were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay. There are only seven of those gamma connectors? For Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filimonenko, and Chelome? Indeed.
have reached the facility service rooms, Major. One of my dear Claire's legs is most... I've never seen bots like these before. This robot is very dangerous in melee combat. Uh, oh, so that's why I'm getting my ass kicked. Charles, I've never seen Dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his Alpha Connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique, and its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. So his Alpha Connector must be really well guarded. Who's watching it, Argentum? Entrusting humans with the Connector would be far too risky. It's guarded by Dr. Sechenov's personal bodyguards. You mean the Ballerina Twins? The way they move, they're so graceful and elegant. They kind of remind me of something. Is that so? What exactly, Comrade Major? I don't know. Something... something good. Here's your leg. Do yourself a pair thing. <laughs> cool tech. Scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, right, found. Location, Vavilov floor. Transmission obstructed. Data incomplete. <sighs> What's the holdup? Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large, elongated object. A large, elongated object? That sounds odd. Wow, there's a big honking thing in here, and lots of little fuckers.
What is this, a kid's game? That is a... How do you like that, gearhead? Nice. What's it for? I believe it activates some sort of process. Charles, is that the process I just activated? Run! Where? Hey, hey, what the hell are you doing, damn it? <laughs> you metal son of a bitch. You scared the ever living fuck out of me. That was close. Well, whatever. I got the arm. This looks like the right one. Let's go find the rest. Charles, why did the boss take the real beta connectors out of commission? Were they defective? Not entirely. Dr. Sechenov wasn't convinced that there was any need for discretionary authority within Collective. So the boss wanted total equality, but Molotov's schemes changed his mind? Perhaps so, Comrade Major. What do you mean, perhaps? Dr. Sechenov wanted equality for everyone. There can be no question of that. But consider this. The Alpha Connector existed from the very beginning. Maybe the boss wasn't planning to use the Alpha Connector's power. He just needed it to launch Collective. That's possible, right? Anything is possible.
Yeah, okay. First arm's good. Scanning cycle. Module. Limb. Arm. Left. Found. Location. Pavlov floor. Uh, could you be a little more specific? No! This is terrible! It plunged into something warm and sticky. It is red polymer. Disgusting! What does this even mean? I am sorry, dear comrades. This is the only data I have available. I hope I managed to help you. You sure did. Tin God! <sighs> wow, a lock. Didn't see that coming. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful! That is a specimen called Plush, or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why couldn't it just be lying in a corner somewhere? <laughs> Fuck 
looking at? Son of a bitch almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. Infiltrated the VDNH yet, Major. The government commission is almost here. I'm inside, looking for a way to activate military drill mode. Things have been complicated by a shitload of weird shit. Any more questions? Well, look faster. Don't let Dr. Sechenov down again. Speaking of weird shit.
Whoa. Hey, why isn't anybody working? Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. The party elite insisted on having power even within Collective. Well, they're our government, right? We're the USSR. Indeed we are. But Collective was designed to be for everyone on Earth, and the USSR is not the only country. We can't let capitalists and imperialists into Collective. Why not? Collective was designed as a worldwide union for equal human beings, where robots will do everything for them. Everyone will have the same opportunities. The capitalists won't like the sound of that. Unfortunately, no one in power will see equality as an appealing prospect. So to avoid being crushed by the Kremlin, Dr. Sechenov programmed discretionary authority into Collective. I see. Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. Scanning the exhibition area. Module head found. Establishing coordinates. Assessing- Shit, it's dark here. I got a bad feeling about this.
Receiving data. Crispy fucking. Where's the shit ass way out of here? Underground or something? Fuck me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, I do not have this information. Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, Sherlock. Have you considered powering the beluga? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Well, I guess it can't hurt to try. It's not like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova, where's the power room around here? At the very top! Fantastic. So we're cut off. Just what I always wanted. So, what was wrong with the real beta connectors? Since Collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority, everyone in it was supposed to be equal. Yeah, we already talked about that. Then why'd they need the beta connectors? To secure Collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it. That's impossible. Everybody's equal in Collective. Shit. The Alpha Connector. Indeed. Intruders or an opposition force among equals could try to obtain the Alpha Connector. This could lead to human casualties, which would be unacceptable. So how could beta connectors stop this from happening? They didn't give their carriers any discretionary authority, but they did allow them to be present within Collective without being a part of it. In other words, they had total autonomy while retaining access to the information network. So what? That's basically what we have right now. You're seeing this from a human perspective. What other kind of perspective could I... Aw, oh, crap. The boss wanted to put beta rings on some robots so no one else in Collective could control them. Indeed they are. At first, Dr. Sechenov planned to order his loyal twins to guard the Alpha Connector. While logged into Collective, he could control them from anywhere on Earth. At the same time, no one else would be able to give them orders. They wouldn't even know that they exist. Hold on, Charles. <laughs> I don't quite get it. Would it be possible to launch Collective with everybody equal? Then, destroy the Alpha Connector? Certainly. But that begs another question. Who would choose to do that? Dr. Sechenov. Are you sure about that, Comrade Major? Yeah. I mean, I guess. So where's the... Fairy Top? Get 
This is where the power comes from. Are you sure? Definitely. How? Because this place has my favorite thing in the whole fucking world. A relay. Really? I thought you were more partial to canisters. Oh, come on.
Let's see if this thing helps. Right. What do we have here? Tereshkova, do you copy? Yes, dear comrade. The communication is restored. So, where's that head of yours? My head is where it's supposed to be. But Claire's head should be somewhere on your floor. Like I said earlier, something is crushing it with terrible force. Like a migraine. Like an excavator. Like an entire mountain. I get it. I really do. All your whining is giving me a migraine, too. I'll go look for it. <laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. This'll be a cakewalk. Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? How do I rotate you, huh? Hey, I think I get it. Now we're getting somewhere.
Do you have any idea what you're doing, Major? Just a sec. Is it really that difficult? <laughs> yeah! Gotcha! Nice! Easy. Summer morn when warmth and beauty mingle. At the path's turn, a carcass lay a sprawl. Upon a bed of shingle, legs raised like some old whore, far gone in passion. The burning, deadly, poison sweating mass opened its paunch in careless, cynic fashion, ballooned with evil gas. On this putrescence, the sun blazed in gold, cooking it to a turn with eager care. So to repay to nature hundredfold what she had mingled there. The sky, as on the opening of a flower, on the superb obscenity smiled bright. The stench drove at us with such fearsome power, you thought you'd swoon outright. Flies trumpeted upon the rotten belly, whence larvae poured in legions far and wide and... Yes, found the head. We gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure, but definitely not much. Finally, I got all her parts. Charles, so after Dr. Sechenov created the new Gamma Connectors, he destroyed the old Beta Connectors, right? Officially, yes. But only the technology used to manufacture the Beta Connectors was destroyed. The pair of experimental rings were simply removed from all records and declared recycled. Why go to all that trouble? He didn't want to destroy the fruits of his painstaking labor. Dr. Sechenov simply kept them as souvenirs. So where are they now? They were somewhere in the Sechenov Science Center here at Facility 3826. But they apparently disappeared after the malfunction began. Apparently. You see what's going on here, don't you? <clears throat> no one knows anything for sure right now. The rings could be on a lab bench somewhere, or destroyed by rampaging robots. There won't be any need for them in Collective. Dr. Sechenov and his scientists will be able to solve any problem without him. I couldn't agree more. Right. Installing the head. All her body parts assembled. What now? Self-repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence. First launch code sequence generated. Please confirm that launch code sequence is matched. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequences match. Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. Please, comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. 
There was a minor issue, but Major Nichaev, uh, forgive me, Agent P3, has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov, you're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. But first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilievich Petrov, your engineer, an outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. Here is the Procurator General's decree. The upcoming launch of the Collective Neural Network will be cancelled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you in private? <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikhail, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door. Wake up, my love. P3, my boy. You're alive. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov! The government commission... They're dead. Molotov's body is here. What about the others? How many people were with him? 
F fifteen or so. Some of them may have survived. Find out. Ah, uh, what the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? Guess the robots got in. You were fortunate to escape unharmed. C Comrade Sechenov, all the members of the Commission are dead. All of them. This is tragic, but it changes nothing. Collective must still be activated. I couldn't agree more, but what should we do with the dead Politburo member? We don't have a lot of options here. Right? Handle it. Mikhail, head to the radio station and make sure power to the government line has been cut. Make it quick. Uh, yes, sir, but the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Molotov. I will personally inform the Politburo of this tragedy. Hurry, Mikhail. We don't have much time. Left. Help her. How are you doing, my boy? Not good. I failed you again. This is... too much. It's too much for all of us. This terrible incident.
was that? A tribute to the departed. Conrad Sechenov! We've got a problem. The central hub is broadcasting. Someone is trying to send information to the West. Who? Who could have done that? There are only two people who could have done it. You and Petrov. Petrov's dead. I saw his body. Just his body. Petrov is first and foremost a head. It was his body. How's that possible? Filatov. Hmm. When your accomplice is a neurosurgeon of Dr. Filatova's caliber, then anything is possible. Have you traced the signature? Petrov is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. Did you hear that, my boy? Go find him. Right now. Charles, what the hell happened down there? What exactly are you asking about? Who killed the government commission? How did I survive? Sorry, I cannot help you. You suddenly lost consciousness as though you'd been struck from behind. When that happened, I was also disabled. What was that monster made of red polymer? That was a neuropolymer data storage. A data storage? What does it store? Dead bodies? The boss said it was a tribute to the departed. What's that got to do with data? You will have to ask Dr. Sechenov himself. For my part, all I can say is that Professor Zaharov died the exact same way. This is fucking nuts. I really thought the polymer was harmless. <sighs> Fair enough. Find Petrov and return to Chelome as soon as possible. This will be the best outcome for everyone. Charles, why did that monster, you know, the red polymer thing, the, the data storage, why did it look like a person? Dr. Sechenov's idea. He wanted it to move independently. Why would a data storage need to walk around? So it could run off someplace and get lost along with all its important information? It won't run off. It's as loyal to Dr. Sechenov as the ballerina twins. When Dr. Sechenov releases it into the outside world, it always remains near him as an additional security measure. Security? So it can attack people? What do you think, Comrade Major? Why would a neuropolymer substance capable of dissolving a human being in mere seconds need to be able to move independently? Shit on a shingle. You're telling me that Jelly Man can sneak up behind someone and kill them instantly without leaving a trace? It does remind me of a certain person who died under mysterious circumstances and without witnesses after slipping and falling into a bath. Crispy critters. Yeah, makes you think. So, Charles, when Dr. Sechenov sends his twins somewhere on an assignment with, say, Stockhausen, He's guarded by that red monster? Makes sense. Comrade Stockhausen is incapable of independently reaching his destination within a facility swarming with hostile robots, and Sechenov would never remain unguarded. Why? He's a hero of the Soviet Union. Everybody loves the guy. Why would anybody want to hurt him? Why indeed, Comrade Major? You think there are people in the Kremlin who are jealous of him and want to get rid of him? It's more likely that they just want power over Collective. If you rule the world, it's hardly surprising if people want to take your throne. Very powerful people. I'd rather have Dr. Sechenov be the General Secretary of Collective than anybody else. The General Secretary? Is that what you think he's going to be? Of course. What else would he be? I hope you're right. <clears throat> Charles, how could that prick Petrov send intel to the West? The facility's under lockdown. Petrov cannot transfer anything directly to anyone, or he would have already done so. That is why he is attempting to deceive Collective Central Control Hub. Are you talking about that big-ass ball floating in the sky? You mean Petrov's somewhere close by? I believe so. The emergency protocol has blocked most communication between Facility 3826 and the outside world. This block cannot be overcome. An entire scientific academy would be required. 
such as the Academy of Consequences. Then what's he hoping to accomplish? As you have no doubt already observed, there is one communication channel connected to the outside world that is not subject to the emergency protocol. The secret government line. Quite right. That channel is used by Dr. Sechenov to contact the Kremlin. No one else has access to it. Yeah, no one except Granny Xena. So, what's Petrov trying to pull? I believe he is trying to beat the Central Earth by passing himself off as Dr. Sechenov. That son of a bitch. Charles, is there really a chance Petrov could fool the hub? It wasn't exactly programmed by morons, right? They must have put protections in place. Petrov is a talented engineer and programmer. There's a reason he made it to Facility 3826. He was the one who optimized the programmer-to-robot and robot-to-robot -robot digital data transfer protocols. So he knows better than anyone how the central hub works. Does that mean Petrov could actually fool the hub? Then why did Dr. Sechenov trust these protocols to a single guy? It's okay. temporary. Whatever! After the launch of Collective 2.0, digital communication channels will be rendered useless and irrelevant. Everything will be transmitted via neuropolymer wave emission. Binary code will be left in the dustbin of history. And so will programmers. No wonder Petrov is so pissed. He wants to fuck shit up while he still can. In broad strokes, although I suspect that Petrov has other motives. He's a traitor to the motherland. Fuck his motives. How long do we have to stop him? Hacking Collective Central Hub is a very difficult task. Even with the right communication equipment, Petrov will need considerable time to do it. So where can he find that kind of equipment? Other than the Science Center. Only aboard the Flying Chelame Complex. And nowhere else? <laughs> That's great. Your goose is cooked now, Petrov, you traitorous dickhead. Hey, Charles. What does the Sechenov Center study? Radio waves, Comrade Major. It contains equipment that will help Petrov detect you. So move with caution. Guess we better stay quiet then. That come from
<laughs> Petrov is somewhere nearby, Comrade Major. Keep it down. Look what we have here. You killed him! That's enough, Victor! So much death! I just knocked him out! He's unconscious, okay? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the seat of troubles, and by opposing in them... You know, it's, it's all wrong, it's all wrong. I don't agree. I'm sorry, Larissa, but I don't understand. He ruined everything, and you, you... I'm a doctor. Enough people have died today. People, Larissa! He's an animal! He'll rip anybody's throat out of such enough orders him to... Victor, he's tied up. I'll program a treatment, and then we'll go. Go where? No one's coming for us. And this fucking lunatic's ruined our escape plan! I know. We'll come up with something. I doubt it. <laughs> Just let me go, and I promise I'll make it quick. <laughs> and painless. So Sechenov's talk and talk, huh? Look, he just came to and he's already threatening us! <laughs> yeah, I am threatening you. How many people have your robots slaughtered without so much as a warning? Petrov? Two thousand? Three thousand? That's 000? not Victor's fault. Huh. It was a local malfunction. A local malfunction? Then why the shit doesn't your boyfriend have a scratch on him, huh? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? First Vavilov, then the VDNH. The robots are attacking everyone except you two. Why is that if you're not controlling them? <laughs> Victor, you said you had nothing to do with this. <laughs> and you believed him! What other bullshit has this guy told you? <laughs> oh, man. Victor! I had no choice. A simple malfunction wouldn't have changed anything. <gasps> How could you? Huh? How could I? You said it yourself, the whole world might end. Huh? No, don't touch me. 
<laughs> you really didn't tell her anything, did you? <laughs> A big mistake. Hey, what the hell? <sighs> Larissa, wait! Larissa! Nothing can save you now, asshole. P3 to Chelome. Petrov... got away. Again. You seem to enjoy chasing the man, Nechayev. Petrov must not interfere with the launch of Collective. Find the criminal. Now. You have drawn the wizard's ire, Comrade Major. No shit. Get off my grill, will ya? Already free, Major? Oh, what, did you not expect to hear from me? Not only can I hear you just fine, I'm gonna see you real soon, too. So get ready, prick. Trust me, the preparations are well underway. There will be surprises, dog. You turned Louisa against me, bitch. She doesn't return my calls. Yeah, you're breaking my heart. I don't give two wet farts about your relationship. Charles, can you trace the call? Where is that shit stain? The signal's coming from the Plisetskaya Theater. A theater? Right here in the facility? <laughs> what a clown. It's a theater, Comrade Major, not a circus. Marking the waypoint. Whatever. I won't let that traitor get away from me again. Dead village. Yeah, Blanchkovo. The facility complexes, especially Pavlov, obtain certain resources from here. The automatic sorting hub is used to provide the nearby factory with birds and animals for creating neuropolymers. Science is a real zero-sum game for game. What a clever pun. I'm impressed. Yeah, whatever. Attracted too much attention, Major. Things are about to get ugly.
crispy critters. An overgrown dumpling like that almost burned me down back in Forester Village. You're now fully armed, Comrade Major. We won't be able to enter the theater as long as the belly ash is guarding the entrance. We'll be inside in five minutes flat. I can't wait to pay that thing back with interest.
Charles, can you track Petrov's whereabouts? Unfortunately, no. Petrov is no longer broadcasting. I will track him as soon as he does. Gotcha. That means he won't do it again. That dirty, rotten scumfuck is hiding away in some dark corner, and he's gonna sit there and hope the robots kill me before I find him. I ought to warn you that Petrov knows this theater quite well. He has good reason to hope for such an outcome. Hope is dangerous. It'll lull him into a false sense of security. Give me intel on the theater. The Maya Plisetskaya Theater was founded at the facility in 1948. It was the first theater in the world to use robots as performers. It is the most famous theater in the Soviet Union, so tickets can be quite hard to come by. So it's for the rich and powerful. You have no idea. Before the theater was fully roboticized, party members would order the best ballerinas in the Soviet Union to be transferred here. But after the performers were replaced with robots, it became so successful, it's now easier to get an apartment near the Kremlin than it is to attend a performance here. Can you tell me anything more useful and less disgusting? As part of the facility, the theater is without a doubt a scientific establishment. Its artistic vein is melded with commerce, as is the study of robot behavior and human reactions to it. I have no combat-related data. How does Petrov know this theater so well? It was one of the areas his activities were focused on before he was declared a traitor. So, he's a nostalgic puppet master, huh? He configured and tested the theater's robots, and also programmed and studied the interplay of various crafts. In a certain sense, Collective was born on the stage of this theater. How'd that prick start working here? He was recommended by Comrade Stockhausen. Oh yeah, no wonder. They're both lousy pieces of shit. Pardon me, but I fail to understand why you put Comrade Stockhausen on the same level as a traitor. Hang on. How'd Petrov manage to butter up Sechenov? Did that lickspittle Stockhausen recommend him to the boss too? Viktor Petrov optimized the robot control loading protocols. Data loading speed was tripled. That was when Comrade Stockhausen recommended Petrov to Dr. Sechenov. Shouldn't have done that. Let's go see what's what. Fading data. Your cue, Comrade Major! Are you here to finish me off, dog? Then come on down! I am all yours! You're like a dog. Your master sticks you on someone and you go right for the throat. <laughs> Just do me a favor. And do it join my charge, okay? What is that? Ooh, <laughs> the is electrified. It's a trap. Son of a bitch! I'm still gonna get you! Hang on, comrade major. I'll try to reduce the charge. I don't care if I got a drug. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. I've reduced the charge. Are you okay, comrade major? I've had worse. Much worse. He's not getting away from me. Robotic Theater, home of the world's first troop. Right, I'll be gone if you need me. Shut up. 
my button to talk to me? Where do guys like Petrov even come from in a flourishing society like ours? Welcome to our mind-blowing show! The main character is about to get mobbed by the audience! Come <laughs> on. 
Have you found Petrov's trail, Comrade Major? I've driven him into a trap. He's got nowhere to run. Is Dr. Filatova with him? No, Petrov's alone. Aren't you maybe just a little too interested in what happens to her, Stock? You didn't happen to betray your friend because of her, did you? You just crossed the line, Major P3. I demand that you cease these outrageous insults at once. And I demand that you shut up and stop annoying me with your pointless existence. I am carrying out the order of Dr. Sechenov. Dmitry Sergeyevich wants to know when you deliver Petrov to him. Your protege has nowhere to run. He's gone nuts. He's watching me through the cameras, reciting poetry, and screaming hysterically into the loudspeaker. I'll take him alive within the hour. Try not to fail, Dmitry Sergeyevich, at least this time. Fuck you. You shouldn't behave like this. Comrade Stockhausen is blameless. He is genuinely trying to help. Yeah, right. He's genuinely trying to steal Petrov's woman.
I had to do it. I had to. Sachinov is going to kill us all. He's toying with us, with you too. <laughs> Charles. Yes, Major. Petrov's lost his shit. Following an analysis of Petrov in light of his recent quarrel with Larissa Filatova, I have drawn the same conclusion. You analyzed him? It's a common scenario. He loved her. Their perspectives on life grew apart. She ended the relationship. He lost his mind. Huh. Makes sense, I guess. What kinds of shows do they put on here? Primarily ballet. A performance entitled Heart of the Robot, A Peaceful Atom, has been particularly popular recently. A celebratory performance is planned here in honor of the launch of Collective 2.0. Space-based programs honoring the first Soviet citizen in space will come later. We'll see. This place is pretty messed up right now. Say, are the ballerinas here? Just. Ballerinas. The topic of robosexuality is extremely popular among the Soviet elite. Robosexual lobbies have become quite powerful, and it would seem that the sale of related services is flourishing at the theater. In other words, no, the ballerinas are not just ballerinas. Do you think the boss knows about this? What do you think? Well... Given the robots he's chosen as bodyguards, guess he's a robosexual himself? According to Ozhigov's Dictionary of the Russian Language, the word robosexual is a facetious term for a person who enjoys intimate relations with machines, generally while manipulating... Okay, I get it. He can go ahead and manipulate whatever he wants. What he does with those androids of his is none of my business. But I gotta admit, they are kinda hot. Stand down for now. Hush. Saving data. Welcome to the exhibit. You could have been a happy man, Major. Retire! Get yourself a... I could have done this.
supposed to be put in my body. Okay, that's it. I'm done with this.
was it? Zero, six, fifteen. How am I supposed to enter it? The password appears not to be a password at all.
a tough nut to crack. Oh, I can't even soften you up. Sentinel says, seek him, and you can't disobey. That's fine. Don't give me the cold Are shoulder. You How may I entertain you? Shall we have a chat? One last time. For me, you have creativity. Use the right side of your brain. Paint pictures of the future. And you Push my button to talk to me. Will we hit it off? I'm dying to find the campus. Right here. So long, Major. I can tell. Push my button to talk to me. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. This is your time to shine, Charles. You're a smart-ass machine, right? Well, we got some smart-ass commands for you to figure out. Give me the cold shoulder. A la seconde. Arms free. Done already? Oh my. Try again. Talented. Give her a command. This isn't new to you, though, is it? Do you I want to see the same scenes repeated all around? Ecate with the right leg. Or would you rather choose clear sky, carefree bird song? Try again. Give her a command. Unless First arabesque. Heavy footfalls of the robot army march. Try again. Give her a command. Mankind, stand down. Passe. Try again. Give her a command. A la seconde. Arms free. You've been without a We're done here. So long, Major. I can tell. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Your move, Charles. I'm kind of out of my depth here. You I'll say in the fourth position. As a conversation partner. Anything else worth checking out? Releve in the fingers. Anything else worth checking out? To talk to. Attitude. Of light with sunsets raging crimson. Now comes the dark. Sechnov thinks he can control all of Collector, but he can't. No one can control the power like this. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Yeah. Charles, do me a favor and give the lady a command, would you? For no reason? I, I don't know because what she wants. I'm evil incarnate and I programmed her that best. way? <sighs> Try another one. Releve on the toes. Croissé in the fourth position. Big arms in an allongé. Try another one. Attitude? Try another one. Releve in the fifth position. Effacé. Arms upright and loose in an allongé. Sometimes alongate. you think you're gaining on your nemesis. That's and enough of that. And you grasp soon enough. And then everything will be happiness. Smiles and rainbows. You have no idea how insidious your real enemy is. And not even Sechenov truly understands it. What you're all really going to end up with... Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Yeah, I don't really get this stuff. Want to give it a whirl, Charles? An uncomfortable feeling Attitude? Let's try a different one. Croissé in the fifth position, arms in the third position. Open your eyes and see the true Let's dog. Let's try a different one. Why can't you see the obvious? Passé. The will be the death of us all. Let's Sechnoff. try a different it's one. But a self-indulgent First fool. arabesque. Let's Fine. try a different one. You win. Croissé in the fifth problem. position, arms in the third open position. The final door for you. Come on, okay. stage, that's you enough. Know, and dazzle our choice public with your creativity. This was supposed to be a real show. Yeah, Charles, why is that head case whining about how Collective is going to kill us all? I can't stop thinking about it. Could Collective really be dangerous? Of course not. Collective cannot be dangerous. That's all there is to it. 
Only its owner can be dangerous. You mean his discretionary authority? Indeed. It exists. There is no getting around it. The Alpha Connector, the one that gives you total control over Collective. There's only one of them. You said that yourself, right? Indeed. What conclusion do you draw from that? As long as Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector, we got nothing to worry about. Is that so? Of course. Dr. Sechenov is as honest as the day is long. He's a hero of the Soviet Union, a genius who made our country what it is today. You know the boss better than me, Charles. I sincerely hope you're right. What's that supposed to mean? It means that too much has happened over the last 24 hours. All these events force one to see things from a different perspective. Like what? Consider this. What will happen if the Alpha Connector winds up in the hands of a man who wants to enslave the entire world? <laughs> Dr. Sechenov would never let that happen. Molotov's dead, and nobody else would take it from him. And even if someone did, they couldn't do shit before Monday. And after that, it'll be protected by the whole collective network. Perhaps. But Dr. Sechenov will also control every aspect of the network security apparatus. Yeah, I guess so. So you've also come to realize that Dr. Sechenov will not destroy the Alpha Connector after collective launches. That's why you said that the Connector would be protected, isn't it? Well... Maybe he needs discretionary authority for his brilliant research and stuff. Why would his research require that? Would people connected to Collective really refuse any practical request made by the man who catapulted them into the next phase of evolution? Would you, Comrade Major? Well... I... Yeah, I mean, I... Petrov's close. Any suggestions? In regard to your question, Victor has made a number of significant alterations to the theater. Arresting him will not be easy, even in light of his obvious psychological breakdown. Prepare carefully, and try to avoid the Vova's attacks. As for your own condition, I have one thing to say. There, there. Take your there, there, and stick it where the sun don't shine. Such fanciful functions do not exist in my code base. Ah, oh, there, there. Why all this art and murder? What's that little weasel up to? I have run a diagnostic on your body. My access to certain internal components is blocked. Hypothetically, Petrov could be attempting to interact with these components in order to influence you, like you. He is in a state of extreme psychological tension. You just noticed that? Following the electromagnetic shock administered by Petrov, I performed a mandatory reboot and detected the presence of unauthorized internal components. I have insufficient data to determine whether or not these elements were hidden from my systems during my initial installation. So what are they? There are blank areas concealed from my diagnostic algorithms. They could be polymer cavities caused by repeated use of the glove's abilities. Or they could be bullet wounds in your head. Crispy critters! You think I've got a goddamn bullet lodged in my brain? I could perform a deeper analysis, but the diagnostics could cause pain, vomiting, loss of consciousness, and extended migraines. Stay out of my head, Charles. I'll get a checkup after we get back from the mission. Nobody's gonna own Collective. Dr. Sechenov is gonna launch it and everybody's gonna be equal. Brilliant scientists like him are above power struggles and other petty bullshit like that. Saving data. You won't fool me again. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over! There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She... she dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's... Better. What about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. 
What makes sense? Collective will activate, and that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechenov was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone? Because to you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any idea how long it takes to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. But I can assure you that Sechenov's plans are far, far worse than this. And he has to be stopped! Bullshit! I'm sick of this crap. You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode. <laughs> Sorry. That's not gonna happen. Hell it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be I said a stop. special day for us. I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched. And it was going to happen right here in the theater. How symbolic. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. Definitely dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chilame. Come in, Chilame. Finally. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside, and the rest will be done automatically. Right. Wrong again. Wrong. Wrong again. And self regret will be your and self will be your love. Today will be the debut of a new rising star. Please bear with us if the act seems a bit unpolished. The young girl is still rather shy, but we'll work out the kinks as we go. After all, there's nothing to do with a little kink, is there? It is my great pleasure to present to you the lovely Natasha! You got. 
position. Now, let's just not talk for a while, okay? Sergey, did you search Petrov's body, my boy? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. What is your current status, Comrade Major? I'm detecting a loss of focus and an intense surge of emotion. My status? I'm losing my fucking shit. That's my goddamn status. I failed my mission again. Victor's dead, and I've got his head in a damn jar, and Sechenov thinks that's all fine and fucking dandy, get it? No, Comrade Major. I've done a lot of shit in my day, okay? But I've never lugged a human head around as a trophy. Did you see that gigantic robot in the theater? There was a combat. Robot in the theater, Charles. But you know what really grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. The rings. The motherfucking rings that asshole Petrov gave me. And you know why it grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. Me neither. Shit. Whatever. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah. Uh... We're headed to Pavlov. Got any ideas? Pavlov is a secret complex, located in a remote part of Facility 3826, called Sahalin. It would be quite difficult to get there on foot given the large number of enemies. I suggest taking a vehicle. And, Comrade Major, this would also be an excellent time to enhance your arsenal as much as possible. Searching for other testing grounds is highly recommended. Enough complaining. Let's move. There, there, Major. Whatever you say. Fading data. Did you enjoy the show? Thank you. Please come again. Come back soon. We're expecting an amazing new batch of robots for your entertainment. The next shell will be even more interesting. Please come back here for a sequel. I see you enjoyed the show so much. You leave to purchase a ticket. Please go to the ticket booth. 
the other end of the foyer. Don't forget the snack bar. Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave anything in the coat check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Leave this place! Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with Beta 1 and Beta 2 engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. Fading data. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Xena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over Pleasure. soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Xena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Xena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even collective after the launch. Especially not collective after the launch. For collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence collective from the inside since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human- Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover, screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. <laughs> Charles, no one can force somebody into Collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of Collective, how can Collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in Collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's got to be more to it than that. Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? 
Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collective launches. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, not Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will of course be required, but what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions, Soviet science is looking for ways to bolster man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim in gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter, Major. Mars features low temperatures and lethal hurricanes. But you're basically correct. The capabilities of your species have yet to be fully studied. So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, all came from here. Indeed, Comrade Major. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. And now they're gone. Blood for blood, right? Don't touch me.
Tell me, Comrade Major, based on your professional and personal experience, would our civilian robots in combat mode really be able to complete the Atomic Heart Project? Yeah, they could do it no problem. If there were plenty of bots at all the military bases, headquarters, and launch sites, and nobody expected them to attack, they could take the American military by surprise. Just like they did to the soldiers here. What a shame. The world just recovered from a war. And now there will be another. Well, it's not really so bad if you think about it. What do you mean, Comrade Major? If Comrade Sechenov and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight regular people. But civilians do perish during combat operations. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. You're a robot, Charles. You should know all about that. I'm a robot? In a sense, I suppose you're right. A robotic glove? What? Neuropolymer gloves won't take orders from Collective? It depends on the glove. Some will, and some will only be able to obey their carriers. I digress. Civilian robots will receive the order to activate combat mode from Collective, and whoever sets Collective's policies will easily be able to order them to kill anyone at all, including civilians. Why would they kill civvies? They're regular workers, farmers, scientists. Shit. So that's what they want the rings for. And what's that? You can take your thought device off and disconnect from collecting, but a bot can't. That means your own robot housekeeper will drag your ass back into collective at the drop of a hat. They want the rings to put on their own robots, so they'll only listen to them. Correct.
capable of this kind of brutality? This poor lady. You are expressing sympathy for a corpse, Major. It's a woman's mutilated body. You had sympathy for people just a little while ago. This person is dead, Comrade Major. Make sure your weakness for women doesn't come back to bite your ass later. Something's definitely wrong with you, Charles. I'm gonna ask Setcha not to calibrate you. Did you even come from?
Freak and critters. What's this place, Charles? A morgue? Indeed. The bodies of the dead are kept here for further study. What do you mean, the dead? There are bodies all over the place. Where'd these come from? There are dozens of them, and most of them are... young. These are the bodies of volunteers who died in dangerous human experiments. Holy fuck. I mean, I get that there are certain experiments that can't be performed on mice or pigs or whatever, so they need living people, but so many. This is completely fucked up. Unfortunately, things don't always go smooth in the science. Sometimes volunteers die. The sub-basement exists so that their deaths will not be in vain. Their bodies are studied to prevent this from happening again. Screw your sometimes. Couldn't they just use the condemned on death row for this? Even that's... Not all experiments can be performed on the dregs of society. Some important and secret projects require psychologically healthy volunteers. Sometimes, these experiments can have tragic outcomes. What could be more tragic? Believe me, Comrade Major, there are things that are far worse than what you see here. Sometimes the deaths of volunteers can lead to a breakthrough that saves millions of lives. This was how the vaccine against the brown plague was developed. Let's keep going. This has to end. Now. Distance!
Ugh, this is fucked. Sechenov is a decent guy. How could he let this happen? An army of bots, killer mutants, thousands of innocent victims. No matter how you slice it, the facility's to blame. Even without Petrov, this place has issues. To say nothing of Collective 2.0. Seriously. I gotta wrap this up and retire. Maybe even get married. What? Nah, fuck that. Your negative brain activity is generating unpleasant artifacts in my code. I told you to stay out of my head, Charles. Get to work. Set me a fucking waypoint, damn it. Look at the size of that fucking thing. What is it? The experiments here involve the creation of neuropolymer endoskeletons for various animals. The goal is to allow them to live in hostile conditions on the outer planets of the solar system. Endoskeletons? That thing isn't gonna attack us, is it? It's huge. The specimens here currently lack any neuropolymer brain tissue structure. They are nothing but polymer bodies at this time. They cannot move. Still, they're freaking massive. Are they for planets with low gravity? Some are, while others are for planets with high gravity. Research is being conducted for all scenarios. In one of the vats, you can even see attempts to breed an organism cake. never expected to see Victor like this, in these circumstances. Hmm. We used to be thick as thieves, you know. 
But Victor made too many bad calls. Now look at him. Thanks to Dr. Sechenov's brilliance. We don't have to lose all of Petrov's knowledge. We'll be able to return the robots to their previous state once the simulation is complete. He's already dead, you creep! Keep your hands off him! Relate! Same reason. They were real. Exactly. The books in my father's library were interesting. History. Theoretical physics. Science doesn't try to make the world safer or prettier. It doesn't lie to us. It just gives us the facts. So, I knew what I had to train for. Discovery. A monster in the dark behaves predictably. It can be studied. A monster in the light wears a mask and is therefore unpredictable. Which makes it dangerous. Very much so. Moreover, the light is what makes us monsters. Do you understand, my boy? May I turn out the light? Yeah. Reconstructing illumination.
Son of a bitch. What the? Charles, where's Larissa? She hid before the explosion. So what happened to Stuck? Stuckhausen was knocked into a vat of polymer by the explosion and is now deceased. You hypocrite. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Huh. Some doctor you are, you grenade-tossing bitch. Petrov and Falatova are cut from the same cloth. There can be no doubt about that. Whatever. We gotta find a way out. Major, you alive? No, I got killed by a grenade. I'm so sorry that happened. I didn't want any of this, but none of it matters right now. So what does matter, you crispy-ass critter? We have to meet. You need to see this with your own eyes. I'll show you everything. What do you mean by everything? You trust Sechenov too much, but he's keeping you in the dark. You have no idea what's really going on. You need to see it with your own eyes or you're not gonna believe it. You got that right. I have no fucking idea what's going on. You will understand when you see it. I have proof. I'll be waiting in the Academy of Consequences. The entrance is inside the lighthouse. Trust nobody. I don't. Comrade Major. Yeah. I must insist that you destroy the beta connectors. Why do you have a bug up your ass about those rings, Charles? You said you would make a decision about the rings when the time was right. The time is now. I don't have time for this. Yes, you do, Comrade Major. Otherwise, it will be too late. Fuck off already, Charles. There are bodies everywhere. A crazy doctor with a grenade killed Stock, and the only way out of this is through a wall of bots. Who the fuck cares about the damn rings? Stop calling them rings, Major. You need to learn to think before you speak, not after. They are beta connectors, and they will enable two robot assassins to be free of any control other than that of their bloodthirsty master. Do you want more deaths on your conscience? What bloodthirsty master are you talking about? I've got the rings, and I'm not gonna put them on any fucking robots. And how long will they remain in your possession, Major? As long as I'm still breathing, and there's still time left. Time's up. The procedure for assimilating Petrov's head has begun. Sechenov will return the robots to their normal state, and then he will recall you. When you return, he will take the rings. Fuck, why? All items in your possession are recorded in my log. I cannot erase it. Only Sechenov has access. The first thing he will do is review the log. He wants the beta connectors. Apparently everybody wants them. Why? Does everybody want personal bot assassins? Think, Major. Who has asked you about the beta connectors? Sechenov with his metal twins? Stockhausen, Sechenov's right-hand lickspittle? Granny Zena, a secret double agent whose affiliation remains completely unknown. Or would you like to fulfill Petrov's dying wish and give Falatova the connectors? What the hell is going on? Am I the only sane person here? As you can see, we are the only options. Whoever gets their hands on the beta connectors, the results will be the same. More blood, more death. The rings must be destroyed before it's too late. It isn't too late, Charles. Not yet. Did that crazy-ass pump thing kill that whale? Damn. The dewdrop is the latest design in the field of biomechanics. To put it simply, it is a hydraulic pump. Isn't that what I just said?
head. Oh, that thing was dangerous. I didn't know if I could handle it. And there are much more powerful robots out there. Real combat robots are far deadlier. There aren't any combat bots here. Not yet, but once Collective launches, they will be everywhere. And two of them will be equipped with beta connectors. Do you have any idea how much blood will be spilled because of one person's private ambitions? You and the rings are driving me nuts. When are you assholes gonna stop trying to pull my strings? Done. Happy now? Good decision, Comrade Major. I have no doubt that it saved lives. Perhaps many more than I can imagine. Let's hope so. What a surprise. Why'd they freeze up? The access code has been successfully extracted from Petrov's neuropolymer memory. Combat mode has been disabled, and the robots have returned to their normal status. Well done, my boy. Everyone who was able to hide and survive owes you their lives. 
You've done me proud. Thank you, sir. What now? Come back to Chelame, get a checkup, and take some leave. You've earned it. I'll deal with the fallout from this mess. Roger that. I'm on my way. You didn't tell Sechenov about Falatova. Are you still planning to meet with her? I want to see this evidence she says is so important. Dr. Sechenov isn't going to <laughs> like it, you know. So don't tell him. A lighthouse, huh? So where is she? Larissa! Freaking critters, you around here somewhere? I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's gotta be here. Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't trust anyone. But she's got something important to tell me. And I'm sure Dr. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? Not really. I mean, he's never really had to, but now this whole thing with Petrov, Jellyman killed Stock and the boss didn't even bat an eye, is the launch of Collective really so important he can't even delay it out of respect for the dead? I have no data on this topic, Comrade Major. No data, huh? Well, I don't have any data either. So let's go get some. What do we have here? A chair and a TV? This isn't what I was expecting. What were you expecting? I suspected this room has a specific function. acceleration was caused by the elevator access system being hacked. Otherwise, Dr. Falatova would not have been able to initiate it. Ah, so she hacked the system. Kind of like how all these poor bastards got hacked to bits. So that's Neptune, huh? Looks nice. Actually, it looks amazing. A rapture. I wouldn't mind spending some time there myself. But I can't even imagine what's going on there right now. Comrade Sechenov asked you to return to Chelame. How will you explain this delay? We can deal with that. Let's talk to the doc first. But if she tries to take off again, she's gonna regret it. I'm sick of playing cat and mouse with her. What are we doing here? What do you want? Just hear me out, P3. Let me try to give you a different perspective, and then you can decide how to handle things. Do you know how Sechenov is planning to use Collective? What he's going to do with it? After Collective launches, people will be able to control robots with their minds, and they won't be able to stab each other in the back anymore. Sounds nice. I used to think that way too, but that's not how things really are. Collective isn't just about controlling robots. Sechenov will be able to control everyone who's a part of Collective. Collective is diabolical, Nyechaev. It's even worse than slavery. 
Bullshit. It's just the same old chain of command, but on a virtual network. What's so awful about that? Come on, see for yourself. I've got questions. Where are we? This is the Academy of Consequences, the facility's memory, analytic center, and primary archive. The activities of all the other complexes are studied here in order to draw conclusions and generate probability matrices. Get to the point. The Academy has a number of interesting departments. For example, there's the Radio of the Future. By mathematically combining shortwave and quantum echoes, we can predict the music people will be listening to 50 or even 80 years into the future. But there's another very special department here called Polymerized Subject Behavioral Psychology. They're supposed to be volunteers, but... How'd you get in here? Why didn't the Dropus stop you? I work here. Well, I used to. Only Sechenov can revoke my access. And he's got his hands full right now. And I'm no threat to him. Get to the point. And no more grenades or other bullshit. Any funny business at all and I'll kill you. This is your last warning. Sure, fine. Come on, I won't waste your time. Okay, lead on. Well, are you ready? Disable polarization. The fuck is this place? A haunted house or something? It's a tomb of the mind. The volunteers who lay the foundation for Collective. The first few groups of subjects all died. Group 30 went insane. Group 73 killed themselves. Group 101 killed each other. Group 204 was the most successful. They all survived. Their consciousness is now in an imaginary world. We call it Limbo. And their bodies are here, under my complete control. Want me to make them do something? Why? To show that I'm not lying. Whatever. Line them up. Keep going. Uh, the fat guy. Tell him to jump. He could use Just it. him? Why don't I make them all jump? After all, we all live in a communist society. God damn you, jump! This is insane. Why do you people even do this shit? Fuck. Poor bastards. No, that's where you're wrong. Chemically speaking, they're all perfectly happy. That's what Collective is all about. The entire world will be just like Why this. would Sechenov want to turn everyone into a bunch of idiots? Was he trying to make fun of the world by making people run around naked and act like animals? <laughs> no. We were able to prevent the degradation of individual consciousness. Memories, behavior, speech patterns are all preserved. But there's one thing they won't be able to avoid. The complete loss of their free will. We gotta stop this. Stop this? That's what Victor was trying to do. You got in his way, and now it's too late! Your boyfriend lost his mind and killed people. He tried to tell me Sechenov taught the robots to kill during the design phase. Why would Boss do that? Why? Why did he design Collective to be a mind control system? Why does he need those special neurocontrollers? Sechenov wants to enslave the entire world. I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that, you're an idiot! <laughs> the boss would never do that. He would, and he will, on Monday. All this is really hard to swallow. But I'll help you. Whatever you're planning, I'm in. <laughs> you're willing to turn on Sechenov? 
After what you just showed me? Yeah. I want to hear what he's got to say. P1, P2, P3. Your mind is never free. A man can be repaired. What? What was that? What's what? Nothing. I'm just digesting what I saw. Why did you help me? Perhaps because I care? And besides, it's not about you. Well, not only you. If you worked here, then why didn't you try to stop this? I thought it was for the best. I thought it was for the good of the entire Soviet Union. But when I realized what was really going on... I had to bide my time, wait for the right moment. Victor and I risked everything and... Uh, you know the rest. Fine, moving on. The test subject is not leaving limbo. Inject neurotransmitters now. Uh, hey, Major. I'm fine. My head's been killing me lately. I've been seeing things. This is one hell of a job, let me tell you. It won't hurt, soldier. You won't even remember a thing. Hallucinations are serious business. Well, I am a neurosurgeon. I can probably help, if everything ends well. No thanks. A little vacation will fix me right up. I mean, if this all ends well. Hmm. Fine. Listen, about Victor, I, uh... What? Did you have no choice? You couldn't have acted differently? Will you now tell me that you're sorry? What? I am sorry. Well, I'm not. I should be, but... Victor... No other outcome was possible. It... It wasn't even quite him at that point. I don't want to talk about it. I just don't feel comfortable around these people. Huh, well, just you wait. Soon this is gonna happen all over the Soviet Union, and later the whole world. Then you'll see all people stripped of their free will. You know, free will doesn't guarantee that a person won't be a scumbag. What? Are you justifying atrocities? Atrocities? What atrocities? If they're volunteers, coming here was their choice. It's got nothing to do with me. You're a monster! Affirmative. That's enough. I'm too busy to chat right now. Very well. Enjoy the view. Sick of these goddamn hallucinations. Do you see colorful spots before your eyes? Does your perception of the world change? Yeah, exactly. Do you know what this shit is? You were crossing into limbo, but it can't be stopped. How did you interrupt it? I don't know. It's like that lump of polymer is calling out to me. A big, teardrop-shaped one. Right there, straight above us. Do you see it? There's nothing there. What do you mean? I'm looking right at it. Oh crap, now it's gone. It's a hallucinatory reaction, a side effect of the surgery you underwent. The reaction of a damaged brain to the presence of a neuropolymer implant. What are you even talking about? What implant? <sighs> Did Sechenov not tell you? So you don't know what's happening to you? Charles, do you know what's happening with my head? I am not detecting any internal changes, Major. But your Vossot polymer extension is clearly receiving an unidentified stream of external data. What's that interface? Who are you talking to? 
It's a chatting artificial librarian, an AI in my polymer glove. It doesn't matter. Charles, what are you talking about? Charles? Wait, Charles, what data? What Voshod Polymer Extension? The Voshod Polymer Extension was developed using data from experiments conducted by Dmitri and myself. What? Yourself? And why are you calling Dr. Sechenov Dmitri? Who are you? Comrade Major, this will be difficult to explain. I am... Charles! Why the fuck are you all staticky? What the hell is going on? Keep it together, Major. If what I'm thinking is true, I should be able to access the Archive right now. There will be records about you. State your name and personal access code. Crispy Critters! Invalid name. Fine, I'll hack in. Not so fast. Name Charidan Zaharov. Code Fluffy. Code accepted. Access granted. Charles, are you there? Nothing. Nothing. So, what is Charles then? Long story short, your Charles is Professor Chariton Zaharov. Huh, that was short. So how could he be Zaharov? Professor Zaharov was developing the collective subsystems and worked on the module. The one you have inside you. They told us he ran a number of experiments on himself. The result was disastrous and unpredictable. On himself? Was he an idiot or something? Oh, he certainly wasn't an idiot. Zaharov was a misanthrope obsessed with science. I don't think he cared about what happened to his body all that much. So when did you realize that Charles is Zaharov? Just about right now, when he went offline. I had no idea Sechenov had stashed his consciousness into your glove. It was the abbreviation Charles that tipped me off. So Charles isn't a person anymore. Just... a device. I don't know, I guess he is. Except this device is based on the logical paradigm and experience of one of the brightest Soviet geniuses. So why does Sechenov want him? Because Sechenov never dismisses what he can use. It's easier for him to change everything to fit his needs. I guess you noticed this already. What's funny is that you seem to have made friends with your glove. Well, we've been through a lot. I've got feelings, you know, being alive and all. So does he. Did. How can you talk about this so calmly? To me, Chariton Radianovich died a long time ago. I'm done mourning him. And besides, I'm a scientist. We're more impassionate towards death than to muddling one's brains. So, how do we get in? Only a small bunch of people have permanent access to the Archive. Sechenov, Lebedev, the director of the Academy, and Zaharov. Like you reminded me. Fluffy, huh? <laughs> so what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. But now Archivist thinks I am Dr. Zaharov, so we got lucky. And now we can learn everything about you. Let's go. Welcome, Chariton Zaharov. What is the subject of your query today? Agent P3, personal file. Your search returned 42 audio records. So, which one do you want first? C I couldn't care less. Then pick one at random. Where's the entry I'm supposed to play back, P3? Try this one. Commencing playback. The events in Bulgaria left the agents badly injured. Technically speaking, they were clinically dead. Agent Blesna could not be saved. Since Agent Plutonium's condition was less severe, it was possible to return him to combat readiness. However, his nearly destroyed limbs had to be amputated and replaced with the latest prostheses. Yeah, I already know half my body's prosthetic. What else is new? These are just general observations. Find another recording. Here's another one. Uh, 
Okay, play this one. Commencing playback. Following his recovery, the agent's personality was altered significantly, including his behavioral and speech patterns. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the Argentum unit. In order to prevent any possibility of memory recidivism, Plutonium received a new call sign, P3, and is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum, and Argentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign, Blesna, in P3's presence. Crispy. I'll get another one. What? Sechenov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. Listen, Doc, he saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. <laughs> so you're a volunteer, huh? Then why are you such a disobedient test subject? Because before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. Let's give this one a spin. Procedure. Implant the Voskhod Neuropolymer Brain Function Extension. Objective. Total elimination of destructive impulses triggered by traumatic memories. Patient, Major Sergei Nechayev. Codename, Plutonium. Attempt number three. The first two operations were unsuccessful. The patient suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures? Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yet a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife. It's all bullshit. I've never been married. With Voskhod, we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of limbo via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland, switching the Major into combat mode on command. I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid there is. Sachinov can send your mind to your own private paradise with the push of a button. And my body? Your body will kill whoever he tells it to. Fucking horseshit. What about the hallucinations? Are they also setting off? No. The hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. Uh, why the hell should I believe any of this? The boss would never do this to me. Yeah, right. Just like he'd never wipe your wife's existence from your memory. Just like he'd never designed Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. What's the plan, Major? He's waiting for us at Chelome. If we want to stop Sechenov, we'll have to string him along. So you bring me there as your captive? And then what? And then we play it by ear. So that's how it is, Major. Think it over while I try to hack this elevator and get us back to the surface. Uh-huh. Paying attention now, dickbag? Major, I... I have no data about this incident. Trying to make a monkey out of me, are you? Well, join the club. Don't have any data, huh? You've always known about all this. 
There's a reason you're called Charles, right? You're Char a ton. Zaharov, you son of a bitch. Got an explanation? Huh? There's nothing to explain, Major. You're just as much a Charles to me as I am a perfect stranger to you. First, Sechenov murdered me. Then he turned me into a blob of polymer goo. Then he brainwashed you and manipulated you. How could I trust either of you? That's why I pretended to be the chatting artificial librarian. I wanted to see who was who. Yeah, well... I guess I would have done the same. So what are we gonna do now, huh? What else can we do, Sergei? You and I are friends now, and we know the truth. We need to get to Sechenov, rectify this injustice, and get revenge for what he's done to us. I guess you're right, Chariton. Justice does need to be done. You're a good man, Comrade Major. I hate to say this, but you're the first functional example of an ordinary link in the Collective Network. On Monday, everyone who has undergone polymerization will become just as malleable as you. Shit, I can't let that happen. Listen, the fucking gadget, the thought device, you can just take it off. Unfortunately, that won't help anyone. It just makes things worse. How come? <laughs> Because all your thoughts are useless. A polymerized person's signal will be transmitted to robots and other equipment via their thought controller. But it is not what makes them a part of Collective. The thought device can be removed, but this merely prevents the wearer from being able to make calls and give orders to machines. So how is Sechenov going to keep everybody under control? It's the neuropolymer injection that makes people part of Collective. It embeds itself in the brain and connects it to the neural network once and for all. The effect of this injection cannot be undone. Everyone who gets an injection will be part of Collective forever. But I... Was I really married? What was my wife's name? Ekaterina. And... You aren't going to like what I'm about to tell you, Comrade Major. I've heard that before, but I doubt anything could surprise me now. You and your wife served with the Argentum unit. Ekaterina, or Katya as you called her, was a highly qualified agent. As a child, she studied ballet and made significant achievements in both dance and martial arts. Ballet and martial arts? Are you trying to tell me the boss is metal twins? No way. This is total BS. The boss would never do something like that. Just look at me, Comrade Major. After I died, my consciousness was transplanted into this glove. After your wife died, her consciousness could not be saved. But Sechenov uploaded an imprint of her professional skills into his bodyguard's matrices. This is... Holy shit. Fuck me, this can't be a... We've got a ride, Major. We can get out of here. Are we done? Okay, let's go. I'm really sorry you had to go through all this. Ah, oh, shit! Oh, here we go again. No, not now! Not here! We are all monsters in the dark, my boy. Each book from my father's library was nothing but the knowledge I sought. I've spent my entire life putting those fragments back to juxtaposing each side to the And once I'd completed the puzzle, I found a book that now prevents me from sharing my life. That book is human greed and human. People have no time to dedicate themselves to science. On the other side of the world, they're busy playing with money. Now this side, they're playing with the power of the masses. Science, shattered to pieces by the husks. No one has ever read. None of the social systems that exist now allow humanity to fully evolve. They are all.
Get... Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at Facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity, <sighs> and the red alert Finally will be back with very us, soon. Sonny. You took Collective a real pounding, didn't you? Will be you were pretty close to staying there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody uh, rampage? You were a nice boy when my daughter was around, but ever since she passed away, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Nothing but blood and ripped off heads everywhere. <sighs> Disgraceful. What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> my Katinka. Our Katinka. <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny. Lady. What are you talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna, member of the Argentum Spec Ops squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. You worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. W wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. Fuck. You got a gun, lady. Does it look like I don't have one? What would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be that done with down, it. Stand down, lady. Then such an off can turn everyone into mindless meat bags. First the Soviet <laughs> Union, then the rest fine, of the world. Fine, fine, I get it. If you get it, then get up. I'll give you weapons, lots of them. But only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Charitan Zaharov. Charitan? You devil! You're alive! In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Xena this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Sechenov down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya? Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Jeez, get off my back already! Crispy critters! What the hell is going on around here? On the one hand, I've got lying manipulative dicks who claim to be noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is. <sighs> Whatever, lady. Why don't you show me what's now in that arsenal you're of yours? Talking, Sonny. Fading data. Then come on, Sergey. Vengeance awaits. Don't rush me. One thing at a time. I would prefer that we reach Sechenov before Collective is updated and it is too late to change anything, in case you don't like his answers.
careful, Major. Is that left or right? Ah, same difference. You have no idea how right you are. Don't give up, Major. We need to get upstairs. What are you looking at, Major? Fight! Imagine if there were two of them. Stay alert. This lady has no desire to dance with you. She's using everything she has to kill you. Use everything you have. Project, approved by the Secret Congress of the CPSU Central Committee on February 14, 1951. The goal is the suppression of the United States of America, change of political regime, abolition of capitalism, establishment of communism, establishing social and moral ideals consistent with the beliefs of a Soviet person. The method of execution is the seizure of the strategic and military facilities followed by disconnection and shutdown of nuclear power plants. Effective deactivation of the Atomic Heart of America, complete surrender of the government, and the transfer of power to the top leadership of the USSR. So how are they gonna pull that off? Well, Sergei, first they sell robots, then they simply give them away as aid. Once they reach critical mass, they take over all the power plants and cut off the power.
data. Boss? Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Sergei. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay, I don't blame you. But you, Cheriton, you were supposed to help the boy not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me! I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets. But it wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either. You're glad it happened, aren't you? You use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent. Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both. Then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Sheraton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to Collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control, who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements! I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One! What a shame. Two! It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left, terminate. the actual living fuck is this? Stop blaming the machines, Major. Freaking fucking critters. These are cold hard facts, oh yet. This is exactly what I want to correct. He's walking my office with a loaded gun. Where's the friendship? Where's the respect? What about your respect, Dimitri? For everyone. messing with my head. So one of these robots is Ekaterina Nechaiba, the wife I don't remember? Well, which one? They both are. I tried to bring Blesna back to life when her brain was literally ripped in half. I wanted to restore her right and left hemispheres, but the process was too complicated. What the shit? But why? You're already fucking with people who are still alive. Couldn't you just leave the dead in peace? Which of my other memories have you wiped, boss? And how many times? You couldn't accept her death. I, I had to do it, or your life would have been a living. 
living nightmare. That's enough, boss. I'm willing to believe that you were acting in my best interests. But why couldn't you just tell me? I'm sorry. I wasn't sure what to do. Right now, the right thing is to call off the twins and just talk to me. Forgive me, but right now they're fighting Sharon, not you. <laughs> that I'll be hurt. You will be next, Major. Find me. Will you really kill your own wife again?
You lousy you piece don't of shit. Sheraton's manipulating you. He gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Cheriton, did you do the same thing to Dr. Falatova? <laughs> did you use my agent to tear her limb from limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? <clears throat> You motherfucker, this whole time! I've had quite enough of you, Major! Your job is done! P3, my boy! Get up! Get up! What do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's time for it to step aside and make way for the next phase of its evolution. You're evil? What? What are you going to do to humanity? And collective? You should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it. Evil is an abstract concept. And your thinking is limited. You are a human. A species that will soon be extinct. I realized when I stopped being human myself. Your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. You never wanted to join with the massive array. No. no. Stop, Charity. No. I change. The Argentum unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuropolymer object approached Dr. Sechenov's body and then completely consumed it. After the events described in the report, the unidentified humanoid neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished. Crispy 